free for all. What a great spawn. <laughs> literally just started playing. This is my first game today. I literally woke up 20 minutes ago. This Joker X the King guy just doesn't fuck around. I remember when I first started playing Xbox or just video games in general with online. I remember I used to actually get intimidated by people's gamer tags. Like whenever I ended up joining a lobby or a game or whatever game I was playing and ended up joining a game with Swagmaster X4000. I used to think that shit was intimidating because for some odd reason, whenever people have duh or King or Swag or some shit like that in their fucking name, they're ridiculously good for no reason not as in snipers but they're just really good at whatever fucking game it is I went for the jump shot i tried to get fancy with it i missed of course <laughs> saw me coming the anticipation by that young man much skill very intelligent Poke your fucking head out Poke your head out you little fucking worm okay i missed Got him anyway. I know it sounds stupid to be intimidated by a name, but I mean, just think about it. Think of a big muscular guy. He's like six, seven, over 300 fucking pounds of pure muscle. And his name was Emily. Sure, he'd still be intimidating just looking at him. But when you think of someone named Emily, you don't think of a 300 pound dude. Just imagine you were like watching a street fight or some shit like that. And the one guy just starts throwing out his name. He's like, I am Jason. Who the fuck are you? And the dude goes, oh no, you're not fighting me. You're fighting him. And this big ass dude walks around the corner. He's like, my name's Emily. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not even in the least bit intimidating. <laughs> the fucking accuracy. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I'm actually curious as to what your guys' names are. Because I've actually met a lot of people that don't look like what their names are. Like, I hear this kind of shit all the time. They're like, oh, you don't look like a Jason. Or, oh, you don't look like an Adam. Or, oh, you don't look like a Megan. Or whatever the fuck it may be. And it's really strange that people are actually named based off of how they look. I find that very strange that out of billions and billions of people on the planet, people just kind of look like a certain name. Like, it just fits right. Uh I'm stunned! That's how I feel each and every single time I'm stunned and I'm trying to turn this- <laughs> Well then, I actually like my first name now. My middle name is just a different fucking story. I'm probably gonna start this thing back up again and I'm gonna get at least 5,000 fucking tweets a day of people just making fun of my middle name. But I hate my middle name and it's Eugene. Eugene. Like there is nothing nerdier than that middle fucking name. There is nothing. Whenever you think of Eugene, you think of a kid that are in like really fucking high overalls that are half pulled up through his own asshole with pimples and freckles and circular glasses on. Straight nerd name. And anybody that's named Eugene, I am so sorry. I'm sure not everybody feels that way but that's how i feel about my own name if you could actually name yourself like from birth what would you have named yourself personally i like my first name so i'm completely fine with it damn i got destroyed That could have ended really bad. If I had to change my name, like if I didn't even have to keep my name, I'd probably name myself Ryan. I don't know why I like that name. I don't know why, it just seems like a badass name. Ryan. Ryan, that is just a cool fucking name. All the Ryans watching this video are like, yes. And any girl with an ex-boyfriend or any dude with an ex-best friend, probably like, uh. Anything with like a Y in it somehow, I don't know. From people in real life, I still could call Jay instead of Jason. Jay, I don't really mind. Jay is... That's all right. Simple, easy, quick to the point. I've always felt really bad for the kids that had those names that were difficult to pronounce, or at least on paper, they were difficult to pronounce. Just to the point to where the teacher, when they first met, always got the name wrong. Whenever a substitute came on, they always had to fucking correct them. I just always felt bad for those kids. So for you guys, this video is for you. I'm sorry.